Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is running sum of a 1D array. In this question, we're given an array called nums and we have to define output array where each element in the output is the sum of its previous element sum. And finally, we have to return the running sum of the nums array as the output array. So let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So here, as you can see, one turns to one because there is no element to its left. So the sum is one itself and the elements, including this element to its left is one plus two. So one plus two becomes three, three plus two plus one is six. So that is the output for that element. So finally, four, three, two, one sums to 10. So that has been added into the output array and we reach the end of the output array. So you might note that the input array and the output array will be of the same length. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example given to us. So this is the nums array and now we have to return output array of the same length as the nums array. So instead of creating output array, we're going to change the elements inside the input array itself and return it. So we have to calculate the running sum of elements. So the sum of the first element is always going to be because there is no element to its left. So one will remain the same. So we start our iteration from the second element. We start with i pointing at one and we are going to check the current element and its previous element. For that, we'll need a sum variable. I'm going to declare a variable sum and initialize it to zero initially. And now I'm going to add the current element. Current element is nums of i, which is two. And then I'm going to access its previous element. Previous element is nums of i minus one, which is one. So sum is equal to three. And now we have a pointer pointing at i. So we add sum back to that element. So this element is two, will be replaced with the current sum. Current sum is three, so replace that with three. Now move i to the right, so i is pointing here and sum is equal to three, right? So sum will remain three. Now we calculate sum, so sum will be replaced with current element is three and its previous element is also three. So sum is six, so replace the current element with sum. So sum is six, so it will be replaced. So three will be replaced with six and we move the i pointer. i is pointing here now and sum is six. Now we calculate the sum again. Sum will be calculated with adding the current element and its previous element. So current element is four and previous element is six. So sum is 10. So replace the current element with the sum. So four will become 10 now and move the i pointer. And now i has crossed the array's length and it will end the iteration. So we can end the iteration and the original array nums will be returned as the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function that will win us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums and the return type is an integer array. So we have to return a running sum array as the output. So let's start off by creating the sum. Sum will be initially zero. And now we are going to start the iteration from the second element that is the first index position element until the end of the array. And in each iteration, we're going to sum the current element with its previous element. So current element starts with i equal to one. So nums of one plus nums of one minus one is zero. So nums of zero. So the second element is summed with the first element. So nums of i plus nums of i minus one will give you the sum. And I'm using the nums array as the output only because both the input array and the output array will have the same length. So there is no need of creating an output array. So I'm changing the input array itself. So nums of i will hold sum and this will happen for all the elements inside the nums array. And finally, we return the nums array only as the output. Now let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. Here you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are iterating through the nums array from start to end. And the space complexity is O of 1 constant because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. Now let's debug the code using an ID with this example. I've taken the same function and I'm calling the running sum function inside the main method. And I'm declaring the input array with the first example input. I placed a breakpoint here. Now let's debug the code. So this is the nums array 1, 2, 3, 4. I will start from 1 and sum is initially 0. Now sum has the value 3 because it summed 2 plus 1 and we are putting back sum at nums of i, nums of 1. So the first element inside the nums array will always be the same. So we don't have to change it. So whatever that value might be, that will remain the same. We change the output from the second element. So 2 will change into 3 now. So here you can see 2 has been changed to 3. Now i is equal to 2 and now sum is equal to 6 because it summed 3 plus 3 and now the second 3 here will be changed to 6. So here you can see 3 has been changed into 6. Now i is equal to 3, we are pointing at the last element. So i is equal to 4. So nums of i is equal to 4 
plus nums of i minus 1 is 6 so 6 plus floor is 10 so sum will be 10 so you see sum is 10 and nums of 3 which is 4 will be changed to 10 so 10 has been added and now we reach the end of the array so it will come out of the for loop and now whatever is present inside nums nums is having 1 3 6 8 which is the expected output will be returned for this function and i'm calling it inside the main method and i'm printing the elements one by one and here you can see the running sum array has been printed 1 3 6 and 10 which is the expected output for this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video